Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. That's the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and guys, it is time to talk a little bit about OC because Elizabeth Vargas is still doing interviews out there, and each single interview is like she's dropping a little bit more of tea. I'm wondering, like, girl, what is she gonna come to my channel then? I mean, honestly, we need her. Anyways, before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my oh, subscribe. Sorry, guys, Latino moment for talking too fast. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Broadway troupe, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and let's talk about this mess. So, Elizabeth Vargas, you know she was fired, but she has been doing a lot of press. She has been going into a lot of podcasts and talking and doing this whole thing. And she has been dropping, like, honestly, it's like going like little drops of tea everywhere. You know, and she's like not repeating herself, like she's something different. Okay, so this time she's talking about how the show become too political and that she think that the show needs to come back to what it used to be before. So, um, I'm going to read you what she said and then we're going to discuss. She says, it was crazy. I wasn't used to it. I was like, this is crazy. With all this, like Andy Cohen can't stand Kelly because she is Kelly and she is with the Fox News guy. That shouldn't even matter. We were on a show about drunk women and spanked drink, drinking tequila under the bar. We are not on a show about let's make a difference on the housewives. I'm sorry, but when I watch TV, I want to get out of my head. I don't want to get back into it and crawl into a hole. I'm certainly glad they revamped the cast and they're doing everything because they need it or it would have tanked. Okay, so, okay, so this is the thing. I understand what she's saying, okay, and I do agree and disagree. Okay, so I agree in the fact that, um, yes, sometimes political issues are just too heavy to be talk. We have a rule, basically, you know, in life, or as, at least I do, and is that I do not, when I go into a dinner or, you know, I'm with people or meeting new people or, you know, whatever, we usually, we do not talk about religion, politics, uh, really heavy, you know, life events, because everyone has an opinion, you know, and then it just becomes too, like, it's, it's too annoying sometimes, you know? So, by watching, especially watching these reality TVs, I do understand that sometimes it shouldn't be political. Okay, we are not watching this to see what is happening in the world. You know, we are watching these shows to literally judge these women on doing stupid shit. Right? So, I mean, and that has been one of the biggest, um, you know, critics that people have had, especially the fans with, with OC, with New York, you know, a lot of people is like, we don't want to see all this. Now, I also understand that sometimes political issues become too big to not being discussed, okay? So we are in the middle of one of the biggest, I mean, politically, I don't know how to even say it, you know, times here in the United States, okay? So part of a reality show is explore all reality, you know? So if your reality as a cast member gets involved in this, it's very hard to just say, like, I'm not going to talk about this. I'm just going to ignore it completely. With that being said, I don't want to see it. I don't want to watch it every single episode, like with Ebony on The Real Housewife of New York. You know, we don't want to watch it every single episode talking about the same thing. Now, um, but 
sometimes it does need to be discussed you know so i feel that these shows they need to find a happy medium if whatever political issue is that they having are, is actually part of the storyline you know let's say portia williams on atlanta you know her storyline was literally going out uh uh, protesting for Black Lives Matter, getting arrested, but you know, doing the work. It was part of her storyline, so of course we're gonna discuss that, okay? But now, bringing like random things to a show and just make it, making extremely political, then I don't know if that's gonna work or not, because at the end of the day, this is still reality TV, and this is still entertainment, and we're watching it just to having just to have fun. You know what I mean? The whole Kelly thing, you know that that's another deal. That's another thing. I don't I don't think that Kelly was fired just because of her political views. I think that Kelly took her political views to an to an extreme and then she decided to burn a lot of bridges just by you know what like Ugh, it's so annoying. It's like a Christian who is a fanatic and wants everyone to be Christian, you know, and you're like, shut the fuck up. I'm not going to be a Christian. That was Kelly Dodd, you know, then if you start trying to push all those beliefs to everyone, like you're a sheep, everyone is a sheep, everyone is a sheep, you know, like, believe me, you know, then it also becomes annoying. Okay. So it's not about, to me, and especially in these political issues, it's not about being a, dem a Democrat or being a Republican or being a Trump supporter or whatever. It's about, it's annoying AF. If you take that and then that becomes who you are so hard that you start pushing it into everyone's throat, okay? And I don't think, to be honest, I don't think that Kelly's political views were the reason she was fired because we have a lot of Republican housewives. Okay, and they're there. So we cannot ignore the fact that America is divided, literally divided. You know, half of it is the Democrats, half of them are Republicans, you know. So, I mean, we cannot ignore that. But when we have assholes like Kelly Dodd ignoring the pandemic, after all the deaths, all the shit that went down, you know, and then mocking Black Lives Matter, and then mocking every single person who is not thinking like she, I mean, she was doing the exact same thing that other, other people are being accused of. You know what I mean? So in that part, I cannot agree with Elizabeth because no, Kelly was not fired because she was married to uh, Rick Leventhal or because she was a Trump supporter or like a Republican or whatever. You know what I mean? I think she was fired because she decided to burn every single bridge. And then, for example, like those things, like apologizing in a fake way. Like, why do that? You know, it's clearly like you don't give a fuck about this job anymore. Then why are you here? So, um, I feel that Bravo is finding their way, you know, trying to be in the middle, you know. And at the end of the day, they're never going to be able to make everyone happy, okay? That's one of the things that reality TV or TV in general will never do. And it's like keeping everyone happy. You will always going to have to have people uh, who are your biggest fans and people who are your haters, you know? Then I have a small YouTube channel and I have a lot of haters out there. It, it is impossible to keep everyone happy out there. But you, if you stand by your beliefs, you know, and then you give also people a chance and you don't judge everyone, you know, for everything, then I feel that you're going to be able to find, you know, a middle. And I think that's what, that's what Bravo needs to do. You know, maybe Bravo can say, look, we are liberal. We do this. Uh, we stand with these issues, you know, but if you are on the other side, we will respect you unless you decided to also be disrespectful to the rest of the world. It is what it is. And then you have issues like racism, homophobia, xenophobia. Those I, those are big no-nos. No discussion. You like it, you don't like it, you don't like it, then leave. It is what it is. Same with the viewers. You don't like it, leave. No one is making you watch the fucking shows, so leave. You know what I mean? Anyway, so... That's this part of the tea that Elizabeth dropped over there. 
that it was becoming too poly, poly, politicized, politicized. Yeah. So I agree, like I say, agree and disagree at the same time. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.